Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Bong Bish, and we are back with a fresh new video from the Vietnam series. So this is day 7 in Vietnam and we have traveled overnight from Ninh Minh to Hue. So this episode is all about 24 hours in Hue. So do watch the entire video and leave us your feedbacks. <laughs> आज बारिश है हम कैमरा खोल निकाल नहीं पा रहे अभी तक तो ये है यहाँ का लोग सब लोग ऐसे यहाँ पर बाइक चलाते हैं बारिश के मौसम में ये देखिए कैसा लग रहा है शायन ये पहन के so the first thing we did in Hue was drop our luggage at the place we were staying and we took a bike on rental or rather a scooty and then we went to the Imperial Citadel. So the Imperial Citadel is like a walled fortress which was built on the 18th century and it's a massive structure in terms of how big the area or the complex is. So you'll need probably a couple of hours if you want to explore it in full. So Hue was the capital of Vietnam throughout the 19th and the 20th century. So Hue Citadel covers approximately 520 hectares and it is located near the banks of the Perfume River. So after visiting the citadel, as you can see, uh, this was the first experience of rains in Vietnam. The entire day was very, very cloudy and overcast and it kept on raining, which kind of spoiled our experience a bit because things were getting uh, very messy, trying to manage the cameras as well as a lot of rain and stuff. Shivani was also not feeling great today and hence we decided to go back and rest uh, in the afternoon and come out only in the evening if she felt well. So in the, in the evening after proper rest, we felt a lot better and then we went out exploring the city of Hue. So we thought we'll walk towards the Perfume River and check out the bridges and probably walk along the river promenade. Walk with me Let's leave the past behind Walk with me there's something else. And the fun fact is this bridge was designed by Gustave Eiffel, the same person or the same architect who has designed Eiffel Tower. Uh, so if you are in Hue, please do check out this bridge because it looks absolutely incredible at night because it is well lit and it keeps changing these colors. So it looks very beautiful from distance as well as it's a good experience just to walk through the bridge and then walk along the river. हुए में और कल हमारी तबीयत खराब हो गई थी इस वजह से हम ज़्यादा एक्सप्लोर नहीं कर पाए बट हम यूटिलाइज कर रहे हैं हमारे दो घंटे जो अभी हमें दो घंटे के बाद बस लेनी है तो हम दो घंटे सोच रहे हैं तब तक हम घूमें क्यों शायन हम कहाँ जा रहे हैं हम जाएंगे एक पगोड़ा जो कि बहुत ही फेमस है यहाँ पर और फिर एक किंग का पैलेस है वो भी एंड देन एक टूम है खाई दिन टूम करके वो भी जाने की कोशिश करेंगे दो घंटे में और उसके बाद अभी बज रहे हैं आठ और बारह बजे हमारी लिमोजिन है होयान के लिए तो हमें इलेवन फोर्टी फाइव तक बस स्टैंड भी पहुंचना है तो दो घंटे हैं हमारे जल्दी से जल्दी जितना घूम सकते हैं घूम ले ऊपर से बारिश भी हो रही है तो बीच बीच में हमको रुकना भी पड़ेगा हम थोड़ा लाइट ट्रैवल कर रहे हैं आज आ, बस एक कैमरा और एक लेंस लेके सो लेट्स सी यू गाइस रिवर के बाहर खड़े हैं। वो शेड यहाँ पे लोग नीचे कैसे जाते हैं? 
So the next day we woke up and we just had two hours. So the first thing we did was visit the very famous Thien Mu Pagoda. This was built in 16th century and it's located 5 kilometers from the Hue city. So it's pretty easy to reach if you have your vehicle and also you can take uh, cabs also. This is such a beautiful place. We have to go to the uh, it's located on the north bank of the Perfume River. This was built in the 16th century. So the Thien Mu Pagoda is an octagonal tower and it has seven stories which is dedicated to a Buddha who appeared in human form. So it is the highest stupa in Vietnam. पगोड़ा बहुत ही सुंदर जगह है फ्री एंट्री है एकदम यहाँ मैं रेटिंग नाइन ऑन टेन दूंगी बिकॉज यहाँ का रिवर व्यू है इस जगह को और भी सुंदर बनाता है तो आई वुड से नाइन ऑन टेन एंड इट्स अ मस्ट विजिट अगर यहाँ आ रहे हो तो यू हैव टू विजिट दिस प्लेस हम पहुँच चुके हैं आयडन पैलेस एंड काफ़ी सुंदर पैलेस है और काफ़ी छोटा सा पैलेस है इसकी फीस एंट्री फीस है फिफ्टी थाउजेंड डॉन्ग पर पर्सन After visiting Aiden Palace, we went for this place where we had breakfast. So we sat at this lovely cafe, and Shivani had bun mi for breakfast. So this was basically Vietnamese local bread with butter, and I had some granola with curd. So I also tasted this salt coffee, which originated in Hue, and this is really really famous in Hue. So if you're in Hue, do try out the salt coffee. If you're a vegetarian, hey, and here, if you want to try something, so one thing I want to tell you is that you have to. हर एक चीज़ में थोड़ी बहुत बीफ और कोक की स्मेल ज़रूर रह जाती है तो अगर आप प्योर वेजिटेरियन हैं तो प्लीज़ टेक टू इंडियन रेस्टोरेंट्स तो कॉफ़ी जैसे आपके मुंह में जाएगी द इनिशियल टेस्ट इज ऑफ सॉल्ट लाइक सॉल्टी उसका द आफ्टर टेस्ट जो है वो कॉफ़ी का ही है एंड द टेक्सचर इज़ वेरी गुड तो हमें ओनर बता रहा था कि बाकी जगहों में आपको खुद मिक्स करना पड़ता है एंड सम प्लेस ऑल्सो एड आइस क्यूब्स ठंडा पीते हैं पर इन्होंने खुद हमको मिक्स करके अपने हिसाब से थोड़ा सब डेट हॉट एंड आई थिंक आई लव इट सो यू शुड ट्राई दिस वेन यू आई आफ्टर पिकिंग अप आवर फूड फ्राम द रेस्टोरेंट एंड वी आर ऑल सेट फॉर आर जर्नी फ्राम हुए टू हुए एंड सो The initial plan was actually to hire a private car and drive from Hue to Hoi An because that's one of the most scenic hillside roads in Vietnam because you pass through the High Van Pass. So these are steep winding roads of paved mountain pass. The weather was not good as I said it kept on raining. However the rain kind of added to the dramatic nature of the drive. The scenery turned lush green. The mountains were covered with mist. and it looked absolutely spectacular sitting inside the limousine and just enjoying the rains while we just gorged on our biryani which we packed for our lunch <laughs> 